Now to one of our top stories on Facebook today. A shocking sight for families arriving for Sunday school at a local mosque this weekend. The Oklahoma chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations is asking law enforcement to investigate pieces of pork spread around their place of worship. Fox 45's Kylan Mills joins us to explain why care leaders say this is a hate crime and what they say should be done. Kylan? Wendy and Mike, someone covered the entry to an Edmond mosque with raw bacon. Now this can be seen as very offensive because Muslims don't eat and try not to even handle pork. Tonight care leaders are asking law enforcement to find out who did this. Early morning prayers went on without a hitch Sunday at this Edmond mosque. But by the time families and children arrived for Sunday school at noon, a vandal had left a strong message. Somebody left uh, bacon and, and pork products in front of the mosque. Adam Sultani with Care Oklahoma tells us the raw pork was spread in the parking lot and went up to the door, even wrapping around the door handle. He says Muslims are not allowed to eat pork and try not to even touch it due to their religious beliefs. Someone would have to know that, would have to go out of their way in order to put that there in perhaps the hopes to offend or, or send some kind of hateful message to the Muslim community. It's really sad that a place where we feel safe and feel peace, um, that something like this would happen. And this isn't the only incident that happened over the weekend. Sultani says someone fired a BB gun at a mosque in central Oklahoma late Saturday night, shattering two windows. Uh, because there's been this growing fear, uh, well, I'm sorry, growing atmosphere of Islamophobia throughout the state where we've seen increased hate rhetoric and hate speech from elected officials, uh, from the pulpits of some churches, unfortunately, and from other segments of society. Sultani says CARE Oklahoma is encouraging mosques in the area to install security cameras and reminding Muslims to be aware of their surroundings. As for the perpetrators of the hate crime and others, Sultani has this message. I would hope that they would get to know a Muslim and get to know more about our faith and to know that our faith is all about peace and love, compassion, and to working along with neighbors of all faiths to make our state and country a better place. Sultani says CARE OK has reached out to state and federal law enforcement to investigate both incidents as hate crimes. They've also contacted Oklahoma politicians asking them to take a stand against intolerance and any type of hate speech towards Muslims. In the studio, Kylan Mills, Fox 25 News. And CARE Oklahoma is asking any community members who witness or are victim to any type of hate crimes or hate speech against Muslims to call police and CARE's Civil Rights Department.